You know, the beta is meant to to tease the game. We've capped the leveling and uh, we don't have everything available to use and to unlock. We just sort of want to give everybody a taste of, of what to expect later on. But it's enough. It's that the core of what the game is and that, that, that feel for what you can do in the game is really there. So the Titanfall beta has two main goals from our side as developers. One is we are testing the uh, Microsoft Cloud infrastructure. And second of all, it, we really wanted to give people a taste for the entire gameplay sandbox of Titanfall. So in the beta, you're going to be playing two maps. One is Angel City, one is Fracture. Fracture we showed at E3, but no one's been able to play it yet. Angel City, we've had people play at various conventions. We do have uh, leveling up and progression. You'll unlock quite a few weapons, abilities. Uh, you can customize your pilots, you can customize your titans. The modes that we're showing is attrition, uh, where all of your points go to your team's pool and you want to be the team to get the most points first. Kind of like team deathmatch, but uh, it's not just killing other players that gives your team's points. It's um, killing all the AI and completing objectives and anything you do in the, in the world is basically uh, earning your team points. Titan Online. Hardpoint Charlie is secure, but we still need Alpha and Bravo. And there's also Hardpoint Domination, which there's three points on the map that you have to hold for your team in order to score. And so it becomes a little bit of a game of tug and war. This is a Titan mission. Wipe out the enemy team's Titans and make sure we're the last one standing. And then the third one, which we have never shown before, is Last Titan Standing. This is a round-based mode in which everyone starts as a Titan. It's the only Titan you're going to get. If your Titan gets destroyed, you'll eject out and you're a pilot. And you'll be able to eject or disembark and go on foot and still help your team that way. First team to destroy the other team's Titans wins. And so you get a lot of really cool tactics uh, with Titan combat that you don't get in the other game modes. The other thing that's really big is we're going to be introducing to the audience uh, burn cards. Burn card is basically a power-up that you can earn. And you can earn these power-ups, collect them in a deck, a burn deck, in your inventory. And then right before you go into the game space, you can, t you can select out of your deck three cards to bring into that, that round with you. They allow you to have a temporary boost or a temporary ability of some kind. It could be something like double XP. It could be, here's a free Titan. Uh, my favorites are the amped weapons. So amped up that you, you'll hit targets and they just vaporize from the shot. So you can just sit there and go nuts with it. It's really cool. They last only while you're alive, and that's the key. So if you die, you lose the benefit of that burn card. It, you could have been alive for all three seconds and burned it and lost it. And there's the super rare cards that you kind of want to save. Like you've got in your deck, you've got a few that you're saving up for that special moment where you really want to humiliate somebody. Also for relatively newer players, it's kind of like getting a sneak peek at something else in the game that you might not have unlocked yet. I'm really looking forward to see what, how people use them uh, in the game with the other mechanics. Man, the spike's too close to call, but there's still plenty of time to bury the IMC. Team, let's step it up. And I'm interested to see, you know, like how long it takes people to get into that mindset of, you know, that verticality and, and getting off the ground and being, you know, airborne most of the time. Like, that's really fun to watch people kind of, you know, when it clicks with them, they're, you know, they suddenly realize, wait a minute, I don't have to walk around, I'm, just go I'm going straight there. And it's, that's great to see, it's, it kind of frees you up. So we want to give you that flavor of all the different types of things you can do. Maybe not all, but there's still some secrets for full game, but it's definitely a good sampler of what to expect from the different gameplay styles in Titanfall.